I'm not a lawyer, but I just read the 13 page court doc regarding Simon Gobadia, Portia Williams' husband. His request for citizenship and child. Let me recap the details for you. In June of 1986, he comes back to America on a six month visa and he again overstays his visa. In September of 1987, he gets arrested for bank and credit card fraud and he pleads guilty to a felony offense. In January 1989, he's arrested for unauthorized use of a vehicle and again arrested in May of 1990 for fraud. After that, immigration begins the removal process of Simon, but by January 1991, Simon has committed credit card fraud again. Y'all. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to class, guys. Welcome to class. We are here at the Nosy Ninja News Network, where we learn how not to be some fools from some well-paid fools, guys. And this is a good one. This is a messy one, guys. And I'm not too, too familiar with the characters in today's story, but I do know the main character. I remember her. This is one of those reality show stars, you know, where you get paid for nothing. You get paid for no skills, just for having a look and a story. So this girl, Portia Williams, I remember her being Cordell Stewart. How many of y'all remember Cordell Stewart? Any of my Pittsburgh Steelers fans, my football NFL fans, Cordell Stewart. He was Michael Vick before Michael Vick was Michael Vick. Yeah, go look him up. Well, anyway. This is his ex-wife, Portia. She done got herself into some trouble, guys. And I tell y'all, what's in the dark will always come to light. So how you live it is really how you live it, guys. How you live it. If you getting it the wrong way, you gonna it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna come back to bite you. So without any further ado, let's get into this story, guys. Oh, I had to sit down for this because it looks like Portia Williams, I mean, Gabadia, just might be going to jail for her husband's crime. 2024 shows some mercy, my goodness. Less than two years after Portia and her husband, Simon Gabadia, tied the knot, Simon is now being exposed as a fraudster and a scammer. But the best way to prevent divorce... Stop. The best way to prevent a divorce is not to get married, but uh, a lot of people know that. They don't want to believe it. But again, guys, this is, it's about to get messy. So hold on to your seats. Anyway, he went to go apply for citizenship. They found out all his laws and everything was Y'all, Portia Williams and her men are in some really deep mess. And now that the police are involved, well, let's just say things are about to go from bad to even worse. Off. The streets are now saying that Portia is now being dragged into this situation because the police think that she helped her husband, Simon Gabadia, hide his crimes. Y'all, this thing is absolutely too much. But unfortunately, many people don't feel sorry for her because they warned her about Simon being a walk-in, talking, breathing red flag. But Portia was all caught up in her feelings and she just didn't listen to nobody. And if there is one person who's probably enjoying this messy drama, it's Simon's ex-wife, Fallon Gabadia, who was also, interestingly, a friend of Portia's. A couple of months before Fallon joined the show, Portia had ended things with her baby daddy and then fiance. Dennis McKinley because she found out that he had cheated on her multiple times even when she was pregnant with their child. Now for those of you who probably don't remember how things went down Portia and Simon first met while Simon was still married to her friend Fallon. Fallon first joined the show in 2020 as a friend and according to reports at the time Fallon is known around Atlanta as a socialite and her husband Simon Gabadia is paid like Bentleys and private jets paid. As for how she fits into the group well right now she's friends with Portia and Shamia. The rest of the ladies seem to like her and she might accompany the girls on their upcoming trip to the Carolinas. Now, according to Fallon, Simon was the one who pressured her to join the show because he believed that it would be good for her spiritual well-being. But this really didn't make any sense at all because the Real Housewives franchise is the last thing that would come to mind when you think about spiritual well-being. Maybe he meant toxic as F well-being. I don't know what's Exactly. Y'all gonna stop associating anything spirituality with this whole shit. This whole shit can't be spiritual. So just forget about it. This Lilith behavior is not holy. 
Simon was talking about. But kind of makes me wonder if he wanted some fame for himself or something like that because he already has money, so it couldn't be about that. But anyway, Simon and Portia got to know each other better on the show, even though Portia was reportedly still trying to get over her heartbreak from Dennis. Things started to get super suspicious when Fallon and Simon secretly called it quits only a month after season three of The Real Housewives of Atlanta's premiere. He made it official and filed for divorce on January 15th, 2021, citing irreconcilable differences like all the celebs do. However, only a week later, he dismissed the filing, claiming that he and Fallon were trying to work things out and they wanted to fight for their love and blah, blah, blah. Well, he certainly didn't fight very hard, obviously, because five days later, he filed for divorce again, claiming that things hadn't improved between them. But for some reason, Fallon continued to deny the rumors that she and Simon had split, insisting that things were good between them and calling people miserable. I'm going to ask you this and feel free to talk about it or for as much as you would like. There are rumors right now uh, around your marriage with your husband, Simon, and what's going on with it. Do you want to address whether you guys have split up or you're still together? Would you like to talk about that? Sure. Um, yeah, that came, that rumor came from a miserable person. So, but anyway, I'll entertain it only because it's a, it's a, it's a valid question. Okay. I, no, Simon and I, we go through our, our marital issues just like everyone else. Um, but you can only run from the truth. You can't hide it. And after a while, she had to come clean about that truth. Now, Simon released a statement on Instagram to confirm that they were no longer together, saying, After a year and a half together, Fallon and I have made the mutual decision to end our marriage. Despite our willingness to be transparent, we respectfully ask for privacy at this time. Well, once that announcement was out, Portia wasted no time to slide into Simon's DMs and offer him her support. She claimed to have heard some rumors about how Fallon cheated on him with a another man which is why she reached out to him but this doesn't make sense i mean fallon was zillow you dirty bitch look what you've done to my peonies they're marigolds good god i think she's right they are marigolds i may not know my flowers but i know a bitch when i see one you dirty her friend, not Simon. So if anything, she should have reached out to Fallon first. Well, Simon immediately made moves on her, saying that he wanted to see her the next time he was in Atlanta. And even though Portia was down for it, she claimed that she had asked him to send her his divorce paperwork so she could confirm that he and Fallon were done for real. He sent the paperwork and they wasted no time heating things up. Well, less than three weeks later, after we see how they do these simps. This is how my this is how modern women do simps, bro. They just be can't they can't wait. They sit there and plot on the next woman drink, on the next woman man, because the next woman she be so anxious of showing what she got and showing what a man do for her. So she be telling all of the secrets. So the other chicks just sit around and wait and wait till they get their turn. And this is how they play in Hollywood, cause it ain't about love. If anything, the dudes be in it for love. But the women be in it for business. They be in it for business, guys. And they have no, they have no real skills. I told you, Portia, she's the ex-wife to Cordell Stewart. So we know she didn't have to do nothing but pretend to be a housewife to him. So she never goes, they never go see about themselves. All they do is sit there and get taken care of. And then when that don't work, they go look for another man, another simp to take care of them. After Simon and Fallon announced their divorce, Portia went public with her new relationship, where she announced her me and her me and her me to the world and claimed that she and Fallon had never been friends. She wrote, Our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. I know it's fast, but we are living life each day to its fullest. For all of you that need facts, I get the optics, but Simon filed for divorce from a previous marriage in January. I had nothing to do with their divorce filing. That's between. You a whole lie. to do with their divorce filing that's between the two of them Fallon and I are not 
friends and Simon's divorce has been settled. Our relationship is a positive, loving step forward in everybody's lives. But this was very interesting considering that Fallon was literally introduced on the show as her friend. But baby girl didn't care. Also, a lot of things just didn't add up because according to her, she slid into his DMs the day he made the divorce announcement. But in her announcement, she said that they had been dating for a month. Well, there were only 18 days between the divorce announcement and her making her public relationship. So it looks like there were some shady activities involved, if you catch my drift. But as it turns out, not only were they dating, but they were actually engaged. Getting engaged after one month is crazy. But getting engaged to a man who used to be married to your friend a month ago is just wow, wow. Especially since he was still legally married to the friend in question. It wasn't just fans who felt the type of way about the relationship because her fellow housewife Marlo Hampton also felt the way about it. And in an Instagram live session, she claimed that she didn't think that the relationship was real. I think it's real. You know, y'all know I didn't hold a portion. Portion like fine. I don't think that shit ain't real. But guess what? Good storyline. I just don't believe her coming from the household she was raised in, a Christian family, her grandfather, that she would literally go and do something like that. Because baby, if I ever brought about my man and she dated my man, that's like me dating Dennis. But apart from the whole thing about her supposedly selling her friend's man, there are also the fact that Simon didn't exactly have a good track record with relationships. Because before Portia, he had been married three times, divorced three times, and had five kids with multiple women. Oh, and don't even get me started on the fact that he cheated on all of his exes. Well, Exactly, guys. So I'm not wrong and I didn't bash this man when I called him a simp. This is a man who clearly do not know himself. He don't know himself. That's a confused man. And a confused man don't know what he like. And we know who's the author of confusion. You know what I mean, guys? I told you the most abundant natural resource in America over here is a simp dude. It's a simp dude. Well, Fallon was upset over this whole situation and understandably so. So even though she didn't talk about it all that much in public, the few times that she talked about it were enough to cause some major drama. For example, she claimed that she never saw Portia as the type of woman to steal someone's man, saying, Do I feel like I trusted her enough? Sure, yeah. I didn't think she was the type of woman who would come in and plot on a woman's husband. Absolutely not. I did not get that at all from her at the time. She also claimed that Simon had told her while they were married that Portia had slept with one of his cousins for a Rolls Royce. She said, he told me that she slept with his cousin for the Rolls Royce she has. So I just don't understand. How is it that you, I'm not even going to say leave a happy home, because like I said, we had our things. But how is it you filed for divorce from me for a woman you used to talk so much mess about? And for someone who slept with someone from your family members? Yeah, fans were super excited to see how this new storyline was about to play out in the new season for the show, because baby. We knew that Portia was finna get ate alive and drugged for filth by her castmates. Close your legs to marry man Portia. But she also knew that she chose not to put herself through that, so she decided to leave the show before the new season even premiered. However, she denied that she was leaving out of fear, claiming that she had already been planning her exit before the whole situation went down. She said, I wasn't running. New York City homeowner. Ain't it crazy how they using this foreign man for his money, bro? Ain't no way if that man ain't have that money, if that man ain't have his money and his position that he have in life, that he'd have these two beautiful black women sitting there fighting and bickering over him. Ain't no way, guys. So don't ever sleep, guys. It's about the money. It's about the money. No matter how much they want to tell you, it's not about the money. Bro, it'd be about the money. And clearly you see it's about the money and the security because these women don't have skills. What, does these, what do these women do? What are these women famous for? They're famous for being wives of other famous men. They're wives to famous athletes. Away, she noted, and I don't think any of my followers who truly knew me would believe that I would run away for the show for that. I've dealt with a lot of harsh things on the show. Williams recalls to people, and I've been there at the beginning of every season to film with the camera on. So no, this had nothing to do with that. She also said, I had already decided that it was the time for me to step away at least six months before I told any of the executives what I was going to do. And long before I even met my now husband, she says, I was 
turning 40. I was hitting my 10 year mark on the show and I really just had to reassess where I was and what I wanted totally out of my life. So that's where the decision came from. But even with this, fans were still warning her to be careful because Simon didn't seem like the type of guy that should be trusted. So, so because you be, you was getting to that age, I told you guys that they hit the wall and then they just start grabbing. They start grabbing this. She, she, she's off to the highest paying simp. They start grabbing. That's why you see she and him together. When you look at this couple, you see damn well, this shit do not match. It do not match at all, guys. But that's what it be. When they hit that wall, they just start reaching and they start grabbing and they start settling for anything. And then you'll get the voice, the moist twatkins effect because you'll have a dude that ain't get no play when he was younger that are uh, just play. Let's pretend with these women knowing damn well that woman do not want you for who you are, bro. Portia was too in love to listen to anybody. She proceeded to marry him in November 2022. And y'all, she had two lavish ceremonies. One in Nigeria, where Simon is from, and the other in the U.S. It has been a year and a half since they got married, and things were going so well between them that Portia even revealed that they were actively trying for a baby, which would be Simon's sixth child and Portia's second. But Portia even announced a couple of days ago that she was coming back to the new season of Real Housewives, but would be using her new married name, Portia Gabadia, instead of Portia Williams. Who said that? Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's false. But Portia Gravadia is in the building. <laughs> See y'all. But it looks like she might want to take a step back from the show again because the things that are coming out about her husband, girl, listen. It's even worse than him hooking up with his wife's friend only a few days after they announced their divorce. But in case you missed the G, there's this whole messy ordeal with the U.S. government that's basically got him on the fast track to being kicked out the country. And before anybody jumps in on the whole, but he's a married to a U.S. citizen talk, let me tell you, being married to a citizen is not going to save you. Turns out he allegedly got his temporary residency permit through some shady dealings. You know, you know how mama used to say your sins will find you out. Well, that's exactly what's happening here. This whole thing traces back to the 80s and Sir Simon probably thought that he dodged a bullet, but nope, Uncle Sam was not having that. They hit him with the laundry list of charges that make getting that U.S. citizenship seem like a distant dream. Poor Doc spilled the tea on his sketchy past. Listen, do tried to become a naturalized citizen more times than he can count even after being told why he kept getting denied it's because of his history of fraud playing fast and loose with identities the paper spilled the tea on simon's early days in the states he first landed on the u.s soil back in august 1982 riding on a visitor's visa well trouble started brewing when he overstayed his welcome trying to extend his stay legally but uncle sam shut that down facing the looming threat of deportation he decided to bounce voluntarily, packed his bag, and left in December 1985, about three and a half years post-visa expiration. But guess who couldn't resist the allure of the U.S.? Yes, Simon. He made a comeback just six months later, armed with another visitor's visa, this time with a six-month validity. And you betcha, his Yo, passport bros, y'all better stop playing. You see this man, this man fighting like hell to get in here. This man fighting like hell to get in here. And I don't see no dudes going over there getting rich. Like how they got dudes coming over here getting rich. So I don't know, man. It's about time we reassess this movement. And 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 let's let's be honest and say what it really is that we want to do and that we want. Because it sure ain't getting rich. You see it. We got this dude fighting like hell to get over here. And he got he getting money over here, clearly, because she sad, she mad, because she about to lose her bag. Her bag about to get deported. She about to go back to eating Franks and, and pizza if her bag get deported. Come on, guys. Let's 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 not hate. Let's mimic. Let's stop let's stop hating and let's mimic.
history repeated itself. He overstayed again. Only this time, things took a darker turn. Mr. Simon got nabbed for bank and credit fraud, landing himself in hot water with the federales. He didn't deny it. He owned up to the charges and pleaded guilty like it was going out of style. Now, you'd think that somebody in Simon's shoes would lay low, right? Wrong. January of 1989 rolls around, and bam, he's in cuffs again, this time for unauthorized use of a vehicle. Fast forward four months to May 1990, and guess who's back again? In trouble. Yes, Mr. Simon. Once again. Hey, you have an hour this week, right? Yeah. Great. I can see. Yeah, he got a knack for trouble, man. He got a knack for trouble. He loved pushing the envelope. And see, this is why they come to America. Because over here in America, you as, as long as you not bending the rules. But obviously, he's bending the rules. But you see how we, we, we leave it open for you to come and get money. If you figure out a little scheme or we're the only country that will allow you to beat us in the head and take all of our money if you creative enough. If you could think it, if you could critically think of it, we allow it. And and this is why y'all might want to reassess your movement passport, bros, because it's not making sense when you look at it. When you look at it, when you take a step back and look at it, you got so many people coming over here making so much money. Again, caught up on fraud charges. I mean, seriously, was trouble his middle name or what? Having an immigration file as thick as a phone book did not stop him from diving headfirst into felonies, and he seemed to be collecting the felonies like Infinity Stones or something. But we all know what happened to Mr. Thanos. But anyway, so immigration came knocking at the front door after his whole fraud fiasco in May 1990. But did that deter Mr. Simon from dabbling in some more shady deals? Not a chance. Talk about a determined fraud. Just Eight months later, in 1991, January, he was back at it again, pulling off another credit card scam. And to top it all off, in April 1991, an immigration judge laid down the law, ordering his deportation. By March 1992, he was physically removed and deported from the U.S. But here's the kicker. Way back in 88, sneaky old Mr. Simon decided to switch up his identity and slip into the Special Agricultural Worker, SAW, program under a different name. And get this, he couldn't conveniently left out his rap sheet when applying. Well, his scheme worked like a charm and he snagged himself a temporary resident permit, which eventually upgraded to a permanent resident status. With a cherry on top, he got his hands on that shiny permanent residency card in April 1992, just three weeks after his other identity got the boot. Well, he got the golden ticket and he got back into the U.S. without a hitch. Well, at least until December 2016 rolled around, that's when he decided to throw his hat in the ring for naturalization. Now, he probably assumed that he had this in the bag, given that he had been on the U.S. for about 20 years and had a relatively clean record, at least on paper. But the government was not having none of that. They hit him with a hard no and rejected his application, citing the unlawfully obtained temporary resident status. Listen, Mr. Simon probably thought he found a loophole that'd keep him safe for years, only to find out Uncle Sam was not about to play no games. Still, this man is relentless and he did not throw in the towel yet. Four years later, in December 2020, he took another swing at it, falling at another application for naturalization. He made it all the way to the interview stage too and probably had his hopes up thinking the second time the charm, but the government was still not budging, ruling him out again because of his dodgy permanent residency status. Now this time he had a good reason and turns out that all circles back to that sneaky move with the SAW program. By using a different identity he tricked his way into the temporary residency, conveniently forgetting to mention his colorful past and troubles with the law. Now, I gotta give it to Mr. Simon. That man is relentless. Because at this point, you would think he would quit, right? Very, very wrong. Because he is Mr. Persistent Simon. And in October 2022, just a month before tying the knot with Portia, he was back at it again, requesting a hearing to challenge the naturalization denial. But surprise, surprise, the government stuck to its guns, doubling down on the decision, yet he still did not take no for an answer. So March 2023, he was back at it again in the ring, filing yet another plea to overturn the denial and grant him naturalization. And once again, the answer was a resounding no. Well, Simon should have seen this train wreck coming because he had chance after chance to let well enough alone. Well, either he didn't bother with an immigration lawyer or he's got the worst legal team in the world because this whole situation was a disaster waiting to happen. I mean, come on now 
know when you're applying for a citizenship, you know they're going to dig deep into your residency history and put you under the microscope. So it's no surprise that the government caught wind of Simon's little identity switcheroo and his not so honest omissions about his rap sheet and concluded that he now, y'all know I wasn't going to let that keep passing us by. Why do she get a kick out of putting this wig on this man? Why do they get a kick out of emasculating us men and making us win men, you know, putting us men in vulnerable situations? That's like the fifth time they done showed that, that, damn, that damn picture. He was trying to play a fast one on the government. And now, well, let's just say that his dreams of becoming a citizen are pretty much toast. And a deportation is looking like a real possibility at this point. And as if Simon's mess wasn't enough drama, Portia's taking it hard. Word on the streets is that she's absolutely gutted by the whole situation. I mean, can you blame her? Just when we were talking about expanding the family, this bombshell drops. Plus, the Real Housewives are gearing up for another season. And I'm sure she doesn't want this drama to be any extra ammo for for the other ladies to take shots at her. But it looks like there is so much more for her to worry about because listen, according to an insider, the government has allegedly opened up an investigation into the situation. Portia was allegedly invited in by the police. The insider claimed that the police are now working with immigration services regarding Simon's double life and faking his identity. According to another source, the authorities allegedly believe that Portia knew about her husband's fake identities and has been helping him cover up instead of doing her job as a citizen and reporting to the relevant authorities. Well, while Simon is facing deportation, it's unclear what Portia will be charged with or if she'll even be charged at all. But listen, let me tell y'all, I'm finna be sat at that table when this new season of Real Housewives drops and I'm not kidding. Well, of course, fans are shocked and they believe in all kinds of comments, saying stuff like, remember when y'all was saying Kenya got married out of desperation? Portia got with her co-worker's husband, saw money, ignored his Yelp reviews, married him, and now he might get deported due to his scams. Her name isn't on the house or cars either. Who's more desperate now? But this is why she's coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is her insurance policy. I can't knock her hustle because this is some ish. And Portia, 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 your husband, who was another woman's husband at the time, y'all started playing peekaboo, whom you so madly in love with was and probably still is out here scamming like there's no tomorrow and you being blind to all of that. This is sus. Yikes, y'all. Do y'all think that Portia gonna be all right in the pokey? Ooh, drop it down in the comments below and then check out this next. Nah, she ain't finna be all right. She gotta go find a new simp to go use. And, um, like I said, how you get it is how you lose it. You know what I mean? You can't manage what you can't keep. You can't keep what you can't manage, guys. All right, y'all. Now, y'all, y'all, let's take it to the comment section. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Because, like I said, I don't really watch this show. You know what I mean? I just saw this messy-ass story. And, you know, this the Nosy Ninja News. So I had to bring it to y'all. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Y'all wrap up, strap up, drink responsibly. Do not play with your life. Truth makes those who are guilty of having deceived the people feel uneasy because they know the truth uncovers a lie and destroys it. Again, there are those who have always feared that someone would come along that black folk would really listen to that they didn't control and that would mean possibly the unification of the masses of black people and this some fear as a sign of the end of their power and authority over our lives.